In today's video, we're opening up over 100 graded PSA cards. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video and this is a bulk submission that I submitted only a few months ago. It's gotten a lot faster in the last few months. But before we hop into that, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this full common set of Exodia. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know below your favorite PSA card that I graded today or your favorite PSA card in your collection. I honestly don't remember a ton of these cards. I know this was lower level stuff because it's the bulk level submission, which is like the cheapest stuff, the lowest overall value. But I think there's some cool stuff in here. I didn't do any pre-grades obviously because 100 pre-grades, it take forever. Let's just start going through and see what we got we're starting off with a near mint to mint a messenger of peace that's not a good sign next card let's see if we can get something epic on the second card we got a little indent there maybe ultimate rare coming up Ooh, a spark blaster that's an ultimate rare unlimited psa 9 okay so we got an unlimited spark blaster that was only worth a few bucks i think we did pull that one in a video that's probably why i graded that uh next one let's do this we get a tune world this is actually worth pretty decent money in a 10 if we did get it let's see Oh, okay. I think it was like a $300 plus dollar card. You guys, of course, will see everything popping up on the screen while we're doing this, but I think this is around a $300 card. That's a great PSA 10, probably the best one we could ask for out of these three. Not bad, not a bad start. This is a lot of like magic cards. Okay, another magic ruler card. I did have a bunch of magic ruler like supers, so I probably graded a bunch of those. We'll have to see if we got some tins. We already got Tomb World. And a nine on the Maha Vilo. Not bad. Let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy these big bulk returns? Because uh, there are some of my favorite ones. I think we submitted a bunch of this guy. Cyber and Dragon because he came out of this Ston blister. This guy's way off center. He's not getting it. He's probably getting an eight. OK, he got a nine. OK, I figured if there was anything else wrong with him, he would have gotten an eight. But a nine's not too bad. I think I submitted four or five of those from the Ston blisters. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get a 10 here. Cyber and Dragon alternate art nine okay nothing too crazy here come on give us a 10 i think it's another one yes okay gem mint cyber and dragon alternate art that's pretty cool this is only a few dollar card raw a lot of this stuff is not crazy expensive but i decided to grade it just for fun and uh because some of these will probably be kind of rare tens because they're not expensive cards Ooh, a mid shield guard i think we pulled this one as well ultimate rare first ed psa nine Okay, next one, a Degenerate Circuit, another ultimate rare that I pulled. That's another nine, unfortunately. Those not, it's really hard to get tens on those ultimate rares. Uh, question got an eight. Okay, this probably had bad cutting and centering and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. An eight on the question. We have an eight on the Dark Balter. That thing's way OC. I don't know why I graded some of these. I guess I was hoping for the nines, maybe. We have a Flash of the Forbidden Spells, a nine. I have graded this in a 10 before. I think the artwork on this it's just really nice with the ultimate rare pattern. It looks pretty cool. Not like anything crazy, you know, but it looks awesome. We have Kaiku got an eight. Wow, we are getting lots of eights so far. Let's see if we can turn that around. Okay, why did I grade this? We pulled this, I think one of our first cards we pulled out of Grand Creators is a collector rare. It somehow got a nine. Even being brand new, got a nine. So maybe the centering or something. Yeah, centering's not very good. So we got a nine on that. We have a, another Cyber and Dragon. That's cool. Okay, so 10 on Cyber ends. Honestly, the best card was probably the Tune World so far, and we've gotten a 10 on it, so we can't complain about that. Uh, Fairy Meteor, another eight. We're getting a bunch of eights today. We have a nine on the Infernal Flame Emperor. This is a World Championship 2010 card. So a pretty rare, rare card, you know, in terms of rarity, but it's actually pretty hard to find because those 2010 packs are pretty difficult to get. So a nine on a regular rare with no hollow, that kind of sucks, but okay. Oh, and then the JD Ultimate Rare. I actually pulled this with M. Cole 40 in a pack battle. He actually pulled it against me. And then he said, all right, how about you give this away to your fans? So I decided to grade this. We're actually going to add this to the giveaway. So M. Cole 40 actually gave this to me uh, when we did a pack battle. And I decided to grade it and then give it away. So this Ultimate Rare JD is part of the giveaway. It got a 9, unfortunately. I was hoping for the 10, but still a really nice card. Part of the giveaway. Make sure to like the video. Be subscribed. Turn on notifications. Let me know what you're thinking about these PSA returns. And uh, you can get that card as well. We also have a... An eight on a brand new Dark Magician girl? What in the world? Centering is not great, but wow, eight is pretty rough on that one. All right. They are not holding back on these eights so far. It's been a little rough. Let's see what else we can get. We got uh, another eight, a Buster Blader from Anniversary Pack. I was hoping that one would do well. An eight, okay, not great. We've got a seven on the Dogma. I pulled this. I pulled this. It got a seven. Wow. Is there some sort of like bend? It's always hard to tell with those like sleeves and stuff. I mean, it did have a severe indent, but like, I mean, not like that bad. Wow. That is rough. Okay. Rough submission so far. We have a nine on the Exiled Force. Okay. Nine at this point is like looking like a good grade. We've got a nine on the Elements or a Flare Wingman. Um, is there anything going on with this guy? He's just an ultra rare, so we shouldn't have an indent. That looks like fingerprint right there. 
That looks pretty clean for a nine, unfortunately. You don't love to see that. Then we have a Aqua Neos. There's a 10. I actually just got this like at a collection purchase the other day. So now I have two of these. Yeah, so now I have two Aqua Neos. We're definitely gonna be selling at least one of those. So uh, if you're interested, hit me up. Okay, come on, give us some good stuff. There we go, an Ultimate Rare 10, Ultimate Tyranno. You don't see 10s from Ultimate Rares very often. So I am very happy with that. Ultimate Tyranno, that's a sick card. We'll take that. Get a few more 10s, here we go. This was right out of the 10. This is the 10 that we opened and it got a seven. Oh, wow. What? Wait, wait, wait. Am I missing something up there? No, I thought I saw something for a second. Okay, nothing up there. Maybe there's a little bin to it or something. Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, it probably was there and I just missed it. Unfortunately, another seven. That's not great. Uh, we have a, oh, a bubble shovel 10. That's an unlimited. We actually pulled this. That's cool. We pulled an ultimate rare 10. That doesn't happen very often, man. I, it's not the backstamping because look, it's right there. So I don't know what some of these are getting off for. Can't keep up. Let's just keep going. Fusion Destiny out of nine. I don't even know why I graded that, just for fun. We have a Giant Trunade nine. That would have been a sick 10. Okay, okay. There we go. I think I have three of these now. I don't think I ever sold my other one. So I still have three of those from the last return. Uh, we're racking up on Giant Trunade. That's a great magic card for Magic Ruler too. So we'll take it. Mask of the Spell nine, nothing too crazy. Got Z Metal Tank seven. Wow, we are racking up the sevens. Way more sevens than I was hoping for. Uh, a six, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these were like, I thought they were minty at least. With these bulk subs, I don't like get them out and like expect them as much as I do with like the lower, like the higher end subs where there's like more expensive cards. But I did think they were all minty when I decided to grade them. So, uh, okay. We got, oh, Chimera Tech Over Dragon. A little justice for never pulling it in Ultimate Rare. I mean, I did pull it on Whatnot one time a long time ago for someone else, but for myself, never pulled it. That's pretty cool to have an Ultra Rare of that. We've got a Reaper of the Cards. This is the one from the every pack opening. So every pack opening, I was hoping this could get a 10 because that would actually be like a decent value card if it got a 10. Fortunately, nine, so probably not too expensive. Okay, Jam Defender from Retro Pack 2. That would have been sick 10. We have a an eight. So all of these are getting eights for us. These are all mixed up. I feel like they're not in order. A number nine, uh, Mirror for Number nine, what am I talking about? Mirror Wall. I'm saying Mirror Force number nine. I don't know, I'm frazzled. But actually, that was a better box than the first one. All right, box three. So far, it's been okay. We've had some good grades, some bad grades. Let's just see what we get. We got a nine on the copycat. That would have been a pretty sick 10 as well. We've got a nine of the gins. Okay, it's not an eight. I can't complain about that. Centering is definitely not perfect on that. So I guess that's why maybe shifted up a little bit. Pretty sick card. A 10 would have been crazy awesome. Then we have a eight. So almost all of these are getting eights. The uh, the Yap one cards, unfortunately, the uh, anniversary pack. Okay, what else? We've got another eight. Wow, those are, they're really getting destroyed. I don't know what the deal with those is. Uh, we have a summon skull. So the big ones are got nine. So I guess, I guess we can be happy about that, that they're not, they're not eights. Then we have a... UFO Red Fighter got an eight. Okay, unfortunately he got an eight. I think I, this one I got like in a trade or something. So I, I wasn't expecting too crazy, but it is a pretty looking card. Probably one that I'll hang on to just cause I like the card. Um, then we have a Vorse Raider. That's from a 10 that we uh, opened. Unfortunately not a 10. Cyber Dragon eight. These are from tins that we opened and they even have the plastic stuff to protect them. You would think they'd be better. A nine on the Hero Barrier Ultimate Rare. Oh, no tens on this entire box yet. Justice has been served. The soldier lady got a 10. The one that we pulled out of the second box, I sold the duelist. Look at that. With the scuffing and all. I mean, Soul of the Duelist, here's the thing. If you don't know, if you haven't watched me open Soul of the Duelist before, first of all, let's flash back to this video. Cemetery Bomb and... Oh, it's the same box. No, this can't be happening. The same exact box from 2019, I think, maybe 2018. Oh, come on. The worst ultimate rares in the set. I pulled this in two separate box openings of Hobby Soul of the Duelist. So this is not the card you want. You want to get Horus, you want to get something crazy. This card sucks. I pulled the same two ultimate rares out of both boxes, this and Greed, which is hilarious. It's like you're being too greedy, but yeah, it's just like irony right there. But then this grades a 10. Soul of the Duelist, almost every hollow has this scuffing on the back and they never give them tens. I want to give them credit and say it's like, oh, it's Soul of the Duelist. It's really hard to, you know, they, they usually look like this. It's packed fresh. I don't think that's what happened. I think they probably just missed it. But I look, Penumbral Soldier Lady, PSA 10. I feel vindicated a little bit from having pulled those twice. So that's actually pretty exciting. Maybe the Greed got a 10 as well. We'll have to see. Okay, Solemn Strike Collector Rare. Someone actually gave me this. This was a gift from a viewer. So I decided to grade it just for fun. Solemn Strike Collector Rare. That's cool. 
a oh a gym and ten blast herald by <laughs> a gym and ten blast herald by a tribute from Ferrani Guardian or Dark Crisis. Sorry, I always think this is Ferrani Guardian because it's like a Shizu card. Actually, a pretty sick card. An old school ultra rare. I'll take that. I did pull that one as well. I think when we opened like the first eleven sets or something. So that's pretty cool. Then we have a oh Phoenix Enforcer. I have this in Ultimate in PSA ten. Now Ultra PSA ten. That's cool. We actually I think pulled that one as well. We have a nine Hyper Psychic Blaster. Okay, that's whatever. You know, Ultimate rare. Pretty cool. We have a no, oh, this would have been so cool. One of my favorite artworks, Doom Kaiser Dragon Assault Mode Crimson Crisis. We did pull that one. That would have been a cool 10. Okay, nothing, nothing too crazy there. There's the greed. Okay, the greed got a nine. That's okay. We got one of the two tens that's from Soul of the Duel. It's nearly impossible, so that's cool. We have a couple tens here. Let's get another one. Volcanic Doomfire. That would have been such a cool 10. Volcanic Doomfire. Oh, it looks so clean. Okay, there's a little bit of a line on the back. That's probably why it got a 10. Or a nine, I should say. Okay, here we go. Limiter got an eight. We're back to the eight train and a nine on the Spellbook of Fate. Another one that I pulled. Not really a card that you should probably grade, but it, I don't know. It's just a cool looking card. This is probably going to be a longer video. We've got four boxes to go, so I hope you're sitting back and relax and you have your popcorn. You know, you're chilling out. You're enjoying the grades. Hopefully we get some crazy ones to end it off too. Okay, what else can we get? We have a Sidra Unlimited. We pulled that. That's why I graded it. Uh, yeah, who cares? You know, it's not very expensive. Uh, Splendid Rose, Ultimate Rare. Also pulled that. Got a nine. We've got a... Oh, another one of these. I actually got this in like a collection or something. I got a PSA 10 or somebody... Something weird happened where I got a PSA 10 of this. And now I have another one. So I actually pulled this one, I believe. Number 92. Did I pull that one? I don't know if I pulled that. I might have gotten that in a collection. That's still a cool 10. We've got a bubble blaster for those bubble man fans. That's pretty cool. Centering is definitely a little bit off on that. And I got a 10. Yeah, these bulk subs, it feels like, I mean, it's already a little bit crazy grading cards, you know, throwing darts at a board sometimes. And some of these are, I'm not, I'm like, wow, this got a 10. Okay, we've got a nine legacy hunter. That is, what is that? Dark Revelation 2. I think we did pull that one. We've got Inferno Destroyer. We definitely pulled that. That was in the every pack opening. Inferno Destroyer got a nine. Man, the nine pile is getting real tall. Scapegoat nines from Dark Legends. That was also the every pack opening. I think a lot of these are the every pack opening right now. Uh, that, oh, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Dragons of Legend. This In the original every pack opening, we pulled one of these. It was not this specific one. We pulled this one again later. Or no, 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 no. This was a collection. Yeah, this second one was a collection. Gym Mint 10. I almost sold this raw and I was like, this thing's clean. Why am I trying to sell this? PSA 10. That's nice. I think that's a few hundred bucks. We have a Master Strike. That would be a big 10. Uh, a nine. Okay. Elowin. Very difficult in the centering. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, that would be such a cool 10 too. Soul of the Duelist. Actually really clean because it's not an ultimate rare. So these ultimates are where it gets really ugly on the back. Oh, a little bit off-centered, I think. Inferno Fire Blast. One of my favorite, most underrated cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. Nobody even knows that's a card. You just got to appreciate this artwork real quick. Look, it's Red Eyes Black Dragon just flaming people. That is amazing. That is awesome. Okay, next card is another nine from the Phoenix Enforcer. We got a PSA 10 last time, so we can't complain. Oh, this would have been sick. FL1, blue eyes. It's a nine. It's not bad, but it is FL1. Okay, ah, oh, pretty secret rare. That's cool. I wish we got the 10. That would have been awesome. We have a Hamon. Okay, those did terrible, those 10 promos. They absolutely terrible. Jumbo Drill got a nine, of course. It's an ultimate rare. We have a seven right out of the 10. Wow, those were not worth grading at all. Seven, seven, eight. Maybe I'll sell those as a set or something. We have a 10 from the Spell Shield Type 8. Hey, Magician's Force, not easy to grade cards. This is actually pretty decent in GOAT format for like the Relinquish deck. So hey, a 10, we'll take it. We've got a nine side blocker. Pulled that one, nothing crazy anyway. We got a... Why are some of these Power of the Duelist Ultimate Rares getting, getting sevens? I don't know what's going on. I mean, they have stamps, but am I missing something? This and the Dogma are like the most confusing ones to me so far. Maybe there's a little ding over there. I don't see it, but maybe. Okay, last card of this one is... Dogma! Okay, we got a 7 Dogma and a 10 Destiny Hero Dogma. Okay, I guess it's worth it. I'd rather have a 10 and a 7 than two 9s. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know what the difference is, but... Hey, they were both clean. I'll take one of them getting it then. All right, we're four sevenths of the way through. Well, I think one of them actually doesn't have a lot of cards, so maybe less than that or more than that. Nine from the Blacklister Soldier. I think this was also, it's like an $8 card. I graded it from the every pack opening. I think we have a Dark Magician Girl coming up. Is it this one? Oh, this is not the one I was talking about. I got a nine. Oh, that would have been sick. Definitely centering issues on that. I think nine is definitely fair with that. An eight on the FL1! FL1s are getting killed. They're, they're kind of hard because they come out of those Pop-Tart packs. Not a lot of protection there. 
A nine Mimi cat. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Do we have a Toon Kingdom in here? That'd be pretty sick. Okay, Alien Mother Ultimate Rare, another nine. This is gonna be so tall, it's gonna be over the face cam soon. Okay, nine Obelisk the Tormentor. I think I'm gonna make a little room here. We got a nine, unfortunately, on the Obelisk. That would've been a cool 10. Okay, another nine. We have a Dancing Elf. It's just a common, give it a 10, man. From TP2, that's actually kind of an expensive common card. Ooh, a Captain Gold. If this was first dead, this would be insane. It's an unlimited Captain Gold. It's got a little... Okay, no, that's actually, that's the reflection. Okay, that always gets me. Those are little like things in the case. I remember this, I was like, wow, this is extra clean. I was like, even though it's unlimited, I'm gonna grade it. It's another elemental hero that will take that. That's always a good 10. Okay, Neospace, that would have been a really good 10. I would have been really happy about that. We have a Perfect Machine King, also could have been a cool 10. We have a, ooh, it is a Toon Kingdom. I was hoping we'd have one of these. I think I'm gonna hang on to this one for the collection. I just really like the original printing of Toon Kingdom from uh, Dragons of Legend 2. It's a really beautiful secret rare. That is a sick card to add to the collection. There's a few that I'm definitely hanging on to from this, this return for sure. Uh, nine on, I just thought this guy looked cool. Number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon uh, from Pryo Ultimate Rare. I just thought he looked cool, so I decided to grade him. Uh, Dancing Elf, can we not get any 10s from TP2, please? We have a Ancient Fairy, that would have been nice, even unlimited. That's a nine. Okay, what else? <sighs> Infernity Doom Dragon, another cool looking card, but okay. Actually, honestly, it kind of looks like a, like a grandma dragon, like what they're wearing the little, like, you know, poofy hats, you know, and like shows and stuff. Okay, uh, Bujing, Bujinki Amaterasu, there we go, from Pryo Ultimate Rare. This is the one that has like the Ghost Rare, the Ultimate Rare. This one, I think I was gonna put in my binder for like the Secrets Ultimate and Ghost Chases that I have. And I looked at it, I was like, this is way too clean, I have to grade it. So I was right, it's a gem in 10, so that was worth it, I guess. Cool, very cool. And then we have, okay, Blaz, Blaz, uh PSA 8, unfortunately. What was that from? CT14, this must have been like mint for me to even grade that. That's crazy, I don't, I don't know what happened there. I remember this being really clean. Blackwing Dragon Ultimate Rare PSA 9. Ah, that's rough. I, it's probably because of the back looking like that. But wow, that was a clean card. Okay, that would have been cool. One more card. The raw from the every pack opening. Wing Dragon Raw. I got a 9. No. Okay, we're going to go with the smaller one for the second to last box and finish with like a full box. This one only has like eight cards, maybe less. Oh, the yellow gadget. That one, I think, was a Turbo Pack 7 pull for us. We have a blue eyes. Oh, I got a nine. Okay, so the best ones from Yap One did get nines, which is nice. A 10 would have been crazy. This is such a nice artwork. I love this card. It is beautiful. Yeah, that is a that's a nice nine. It's not bad. Then we got a Yami first edition LOB. Got a nine. Great. We have a oh, okay, Quacky Mirror Maximus Ultimate. We definitely pulled that one, so that's the only reason I would grade that. Uh, Chaos Emperor. This is the one we pulled. It got an eight. No, these are pretty rough. So getting tens of that's pretty tough. Last card of the second to last box. Cyber Dragon nine. Another one that we pulled out of CRV. Okay, not bad. Okay, last box. We've not gotten a ton of tens. So I'm really hoping for some in this last box. A seven. Right out of the pack. A seven. What is that on the back? Okay, it looks like that comes off. So I don't, maybe that those print line. Wow, that is a pretty severe print line on the back. Seven. So I really hope that we got better grades. So, so far we have more C, like collection 10 stuff like the Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes. So far we've gotten a seven and eight on the two. So hopefully we get some better ones than that. An eight, great. Oh no, this is insane. What is left? An eight, no, don't end like this. Okay, thank goodness. Dark Magician Girl 10. Okay, we got a 10. There we go. And look, whoa, okay. That's just my light making that. Okay, that is a beautiful prismatic secret rare. Dark Magician Girl, thank goodness. 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. Wow, that was, I was getting a little nervous there. We we're going to get a bunch of sevens and eights. That's a 10. We'll take that. Come on, give us more. Another one. PSA 10, Dark Magician Girl. Let's go, let's go. Come on, the blue eyes. The, the blue eyes are rigged. It's just like Ghosts from the Past 2 where they have those dots. You can't get a 10. Same thing with the, the 10 ones, apparently. A nine on the Dark Magician Girl. Okay, okay, not great. 10, okay, Dark Magician Girl. Nice, nice, come on. Droll Bird, we got our Droll Bird back. Okay, that got a nine, just like our uh, our Infernal Flame Emperor, or whatever his name is. Ooh, Supreme Arcanine Magician got a nine. This is one we pulled out Star Strike Blast. I think this is the one we pulled with Rhyme, right? When we opened the box. Okay, got a nine. Pretty whatever, not crazy. Hero Flash would have been sick, but unfortunately not a 10. 
Harpy Queen got a nine. We pulled this one too. Dang, that's sick. I mean, it's, it's just a nice nine. A nine on the red eyes. Come on, give us a 10 red eyes at least. Let's go. Come on. Scapegoat. The scapegoat. No. We got it back and it's a nine. So we, we opened seven cases for a $15 card. Didn't even get the 10. So that's unfortunate. But hey, we did get the scapegoat eventually. So that's that's a plus. What else? Oh, the glow up bulb. This is from the uh, every pack opening too. PSA nine. Actually, not bad. I mean, those Star Strike Blast is pretty weird on the print quality. So not terrible. Nine on the super dimensional robot galaxy destroyer. OK, OK, ultimate rare. We have a yes, a 10 on the red eyes. That's sick. I love that. A 10 from the 10. You love to see it. OK, two cards to go. Blue eyes, white dragon 10. Our red eyes from anniversary pack got an eight. Okay, the first good one to get an eight. And then our final card of the return. We went through this a little bit quicker than we sometimes do, but I knew we had a lot of cards. This seems like it's a uh, like it's a 10 promo. Please be a blue eyes. <laughs> Nothing better than an eight on the blue eyes. You gotta be kidding me. That's pretty rough. It did have some severe print lines. So maybe blue eyes is just, you know, Konami's rigging that one so you don't get any tens or whatever. So overall, we got 23 tens out of about 110 cards, something like that. So not a great percentage since a lot of these were like pack fresh, but a lot were ultimate rares, which are tough to grade. So I feel okay about the submission. Sometimes you feel great about PSA, sometimes you don't. You just have to accept that if you're gonna choose to grade with them like I am. And I enjoy doing these PSA returns and getting some of these cards from my collection. So, so I'm willing to take the risk and i had a lot of fun opening these up and if you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to tone Fo show daxer jt show puffins of doom ernesto deanna dizzy flexi boy hoppus choice 333 mycycle james jance tcg trusted cards america deutscher supreme sage 21 frankie martinez and in the show ian moose and junior barding mimic gecko shadowfall and thomas mclean thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace